Hey guys, what's up? It's a new here, and today we're gonna be unboxing the Rocket Comb Pure Ally. Where, where does the... where is the... Okay, yeah, it took me a while, but it says Ally on the side, like Rocket Ally. So yeah, that's not the main point. So today we're gonna be testing out um, how good this mouse is for Minecraft, drag click PvP, and as well as for bridging. Alright, so uh, I'm not gonna spend that much time on like unboxing this thing, so let's just get into it. Okay, so we have the mouse right here. It says pure right here uh, for the mouse. And so far the mouse looks pretty good. So here's the side view, here's the other side. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go straight into it. Let's um, just test this out in game really quick. So this mouse, after I've like messed around for a while, like, you can't really get, like, that much of a high CPS on it. Like, you know, you probably, you know, you think this is a rocket mouse. You would expect to get, like, 40, 50 CPS. But on this mouse, you can, I can get up to, like, 40 maximum. But what's really good about this mouse is that, I don't know, it's probably because of the texture of the uh, mouse button. It makes it really easy to drag click on. Like, in the past for Model O or Model D, I might have to rely on tapes and stuff like that. But for this, I don't need anything. I can just straight up drag click on it. I feel like in some situations, this could be even better than some of the mice that could reach like a higher CPS. So yeah, with a further ado, let's get into a bridging world. Can I bridge? Please. Bruh.
guys. So as you guys can see, I kind of raged in the end. Um, so what happened right here is that if you look closely, um, every time when I do a tally, my mouse moved down a little bit. And when we bought this table, it wasn't meant for gaming. My parents just bought it so I can do homework here. And so with my tele style, um, I'm going to need a bigger table. And I was kind of raging in the end because I definitely thought I was able to tele all the way to the end if I had a longer table. But yeah, we'll get there later. But I'm just here to prove that this mouse is really good for tele bridging. And yeah, let's move on. He's like, whoa! Got him, dude. Got him. <laughs> Dude, this mouse is amazing. What the Hey guys, it's a noob here. So um, yeah, we're gonna be doing a little Bedwars solos commentary, I guess, again with this mouse. Um, we have our little Pikachu right here. As you guys can see on the top right, I believe that's where I should include the end cam. So yeah, um, overall, this mouse feels great. So uh, actually, let's get some iron and rush. So overall, this is a really light mouse compared to the other rocket mouse. It feels like Model O and Model D, but it's not. It's like a rocket mouse. Let's bridge to the other base really quick. Alright. I guess he's rushing right now, so we're gonna just get his bed right here. This mouse is... Yeah, it is light, as I said, compared to the other rocket mouse I've used. So when you're god bridging, definitely you're gonna need to learn how to hold your mouse while you're drag clicking. It's going to take a little bit of practice, but yeah. And by the way, guys, um, I've also recently ordered a new PC setup. You know, um, earlier I said like I told my parents about my YouTube channel, and now they allowed me to buy myself a PC setup. I told them I'm not gonna spend like a single cent from them. I'm just gonna be using all my YouTube app, uh, revenues. So uh, if I'm not wrong, I spent. All right, let's get this guy really quick. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Um, I spent like basically like a total of mm, around like three thousand dollars. And the new PC has like a built-in RTX 
um, 3080 or something. I'm not really familiar with computer parts. I just have a friend that really knows a lot about it and I just he just really recommended me this PC setup. I'm just gonna get to him really quick. He does not know how to play this. Did he just he just disconnected? Oh my god, he just okay, yeah. Oh yeah guys, if you're a god bridger, just expect something like this to happen in game because like you either get the type of rage player that just like rage or like they just hack you or they just leave. Alright, let's incline to Diamond Gen really quick. Alright. Sounds good. Um, I'm actually going to buy some upgrades and then I am probably going to void because I've been rushing the other side this whole time and I've never paid attention to the team that's literally next to me so I'm going to void. Um, yeah, just get all these things ready. Actually, yeah. Alright. Oh, okay, I can already see the blue bridge to our base. I think we're gonna lose our bed. Okay, let's see what, what we can grab. Um, let's just get armor. Iron oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, please no, please no. Okay, all right. There we go. There we go. We're down half down in HP, but yeah, we should be fine. Let's get all these stops. He is definitely gonna rush me as soon as he respawns, but that should be fine. And of course, we're gonna get ourselves a a Zyphe ball. Let's go. Okay, let's bridge up. All right, barber jump. All right, let's get his bed really quick. And as usual, people don't expect it when I do that. GGs. So we're back to full HP, and now it's a final one we want between me and Pink. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna go mid and grab M's just to figure out where he is. And as you guys also realize, I have a Okay, wait. Oh, okay, he's he. Yeah, he's literally on top of me. Never mind. I guess I'm just gonna be here. All right. Um, he was camping on top for a while, but right now he's going straight to my base. So I'm just gonna catch up with him really quick. All right. This is the final one we won. I don't think he has that much of good armor. Okay. All right. GGs. Yeah, that's a three tab. GGs. Let's go.